Find the general solution of the differential equation dy by dx minus 2y is equal to x minus 4x squared. So write down the equation. The solution is made from finding the complementary function plus the what's known as the particular integral which we looked at in the last video. The complementary solution or complementary function is found from the associated homogeneous equation, i.e. take this bit and put it equal to 0. That's dy by dx minus 2y is equal to 0. The auxiliary equation from that will be m minus 2 is equal to 0, therefore m is equal to 2, and therefore the complementary function will be of the form ae to the 2x. Remember, it's always going to be ae to the mx. For the particular integral, we need to try the quadratic polynomial that will generate x minus 4x squared. So the general polynomial we're going to try is y is equal to px squared plus qx plus r. This is the general form of a polynomial degree 2. Dy by, x, dy by dx will be if we differentiate 2px plus q, differentiating each term here, and then we substitute this into the original differential equation, which was dy by dx minus 2y is equal to x minus 4x squared. So substituting that in, 2px plus q, be a capital Q, it minus 2 brackets minus 2y px squared plus qx plus r, and that's got to be equal to x minus 4x squared. Simplifying that we get 2px plus q, making it with the capital Q because that's what we had to start with, is equal to x minus 4x squared. Now, so the coefficient of x squared is going to be minus 2px squared. The coefficient of x will be 2p minus 2q, lots of x, and the constant term will be q minus 2r. And that's going to be equal to minus 4x squared plus x. So minus 2p will be equal to minus 4, I'm quoting the coefficients. Minus 2p is equal to minus 4, which gives that p must be 2. Equating the coefficients here, 2p minus 2q will be equal to 1. 2 times 2, because we've already got pe, minus 2q is equal to 1. Therefore, 2q will be equal to 3. Q, q will be 3 over 2. And the constant term, there is no constant term here, so q minus 2r must be equal to 0. We know this is 2 thirds minus 2r is equal to 0. 2r is equal to 3 over 2 r will be equal to 3 over 4. So we've got the general particular integral here. p is 2, q is 3 over 2, r is 3 over 4. So we're going to have y is equal to 2x squared plus 3 over 2x plus 3 over 4. This is the particular integral. Combining the C complementary function and the particular integral, we get the general solution. So we're going to have that y is equal to ae to the 2x plus 2x squared minus 3, plus 3 over 2x plus 3 over 4 is the general solution. Now, so for the particular integral, the trial solution should be most general form of the right-hand side of the original equation. So, if the right-hand side is a polynomial degree n, the trial must be a general polynomial degree n. In the example, we had a polynomial degree 2 root 2, and we took the general polynomial of the degree 2. If we've got e to the n x, then we need the general exponential function for p e to the n x. If we've got sine n x, cos n x, or a combination of these, then the most general form will be, of the trigonometric function will be p sine n x plus q cos n x. And a combination of the above will be a combination of the general function of the above. Okay, so this has been an example to show you how to use the
complementary function and a particular integral to solve a given differential equation.